dark side of the moon, they're going, my gosh, where are the mares? Why not? Why aren't they there? At least that's an explanation, too. So, so is it gravity? I, I look at it as gravity, and I do all that work on gravity, and I'm thinking it's gravity, and this guy's crazy. But I'm using a gravimeter, and he's using some other medium, and, and, and somehow you got to sort it out. And well, we, we take you both out into the parking lot and you go on it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just, just a minute, just a minute, please. Uh, the, the wait, wait, wait. Sea water is conductive. Is it sea water? Yes. And therefore, that effect could not be due to some electrochemical thing. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Which is conductive. Don't throw more complication into it. <laughs> the, the picture. The Mediterranean Sea does not have much tide. No, the Great Lakes. The Great Lakes? Freshwater. I don't think they do. Huh? Does freshwater have a tide on the effect? Like the Great Lakes, the large body of water, like the Great Lakes, they have tides. There's just one more comment. The, that moon is tidal locked to the Earth. Do you know that in our whole solar system, there's only one moon that is not a lot. Yeah. One that's Hyperion. It's a it's a moon of uh, Saturn, and it's in the same orbit with Titan. Titan is the largest moon of Saturn, and and it's in the same orbit. I don't know if it's that close, but apparently, Hyperion can't make up its mind who to lock on to. But wow. every other one, as I read, I don't know first. As I read, every other one is locked just like our moon. Charon, have they discovered, determined whether Charon is locked to Pluto? No, they probably have to go and tell you. <laughs> what, what do you mean by locked? Pluto is locked. Tidal locked because the, the same face. Face, face is always okay, the same. Okay. Mercury's tidal locked to the sun. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mercury's yeah. tidal okay. locked to the sun. I have, I have just one observation I want to raise, sort of as a question too, but the gravitation, if we're going to talk about gravitational effects on the gravitational effects between the Earth and the Moon are not relevant to that issue. Because what we're dealing with is the effect of gravitational pull on the water that makes the tide. And the water, when the Moon is absent, feels the gravitational of the Earth, which has two things that give it a real big pull relative to what the Moon will ever have, which is the Earth is much larger mass and it's much closer gravity with the square of the, of the distance. And so we're talking about the difference between when the only gravity working on the mass of the water is that of the Earth, and when the moon comes around and creates a different gravitational effect between the gravity, between the mass of the moon and the mass of the water, not the mass of the Earth. Okay. So we're talking about the presence or absence of the gravitational effect of the mass of the moon on the mass of the water when it is present versus when it is absent. And you have continually present the much greater gravitational pull of the Earth. And then the question is, can you account for the change in the, the stretching, if you will, or the lifting of the water by the difference between the gravitational of the moon on the water when the moon is present in its absence when the moon is absent. And I, and I think that's the mathematics that you might want to go through to, to address can gravity make that difference. Mm -hmm. One more last comment and we'll be over there. The picture maybe it's not be important but uh, would be good to do it in real real position. Now the salt ball is going here. I think it's not not real. It's just looking down. The salt ball has to go somewhere that way. The moon is uh, uh, rotating. Not uh, the picture is not good. It's the salt ball has to direct somewhere. I thought it's looking down on the Earth. I'm That's not sure. It's looking down on the north from the North Pole. Down. Yeah. So they have the moon over here yeah. and the Earth here. I'm not sure. Yeah. Uh, well, you just so. I don't think it. Well, if I think conceptually, it doesn't matter. Uh, okay. But, but also, it is not. The, the moon is shifted to five or ten percent. It is uh, not in plane. In plane, not in plane with the. 
It is not perpendicular, so I think it's not right. Uh, think it over. Because uh, then we have an ellipsoid of the Earth, so it uh, has also some effect on it. So okay. In this way. All right, thank you very much.